Hey guys, so I woke up and apparently Will Smith decided to smack the shit out of Chris Rock. And I woke up, I saw this, and I was like, is this real or is this fake? I didn't watch the whole thing, so I decided to jump on here really quick, half awake, half asleep, and react to it with you guys, and we can, uh, and try to decipher this shit. All right, here we go. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win! <laughs> that Will Smith wins, like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one, okay. I'm out here, uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> you my name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. <laughs> that was a... Uh, Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. Okay, so guys, do you think that was real or fake? If it was real, Will Smith slaps like a little bitch because Chris Brown just took that hit like a G. And if it was real, why was he so fucking salty? Like, I didn't actually listen to the whole joke, so I thought he said something way worse, but he's just basically talking to, telling a joke saying that Ada Pickett shaved her head and looks a little butchy these days. I think all the jokes about Will Smith and his wife maybe have gotten to him. Like, all these red pill videos calling him a little simp for letting his wife go have an entanglement. But if you care so much about your wife, Will Smith, why are you running around with all these models? You know, seriously, I mean, like, maybe, you know, you should be more upset with her, like, putting all your business out there with these red table talks, trying to make it sound so deep, the fact that you guys have an open marriage and won't just say you have a freaking open marriage and trying to get all convinced us that none of you are sleeping around. But anyway, like, what was that? He didn't seem intoxicated to me. He was a bit sweaty, but it's probably hot in there. Like, maybe this is a bit... But if it was, like, the punchline wasn't funny, it seemed way too serious. I know Jada, like, shaved her head for, like, Willow Smith. Like, it was some sort of, it was supposed to be some sort of deep, meaningful thing that they both shaved their heads together or something like that. So maybe that's why, because it was, like, a personal thing to the family. He took it, like, personally. I don't really know. You think... Chris's rock joke was disrespectful. I mean, Will Smith has smacked people in public before. Granted, that guy deserved it. You can't just go run up and kiss people. And if it was real, Chris Rock, the way he handled his situ his self, like the professionalism and the respectfulness he had, and his ability to turn that situation back into the joke, getting the audience to laugh, and breaking the awkward titchen. Okay, that's it, guys. This is why you shouldn't grab your phone when you first wake up, because you see bullshit like this right in your brain. But anyway, I try not to. I didn't even do my meditation or anything today because I wanted to jump on here and make this video for you guys. But anyway, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe.